What tests uh, can be performed to make a good diagnosis? Well, the diagnosis really uh, relies on uh, the medical history, so the, what the, the you know, so symptoms that the patient experiences, the pain, stiffness, you know. Uh, and then when you look at the hand, you'll see deformities that are typical. You'll see swelling around the joints. Uh, sometimes you'll see, uh, you'll, you'll feel redness and um, a little bit of local heat. Uh, you'll look for the typical deformities uh, at the base of the thumb or in the other joints of the fingers. Um, when you palpate, uh, the, uh, the the joint itself will be tender. It will be uh, you know hurt, um, and then of course you'll have X-rays. You'll need X-rays, and the X-rays of the hand and wrist will show you how advanced your um, joint damage is, and that will help guide the treatment. You don't really need uh, other tests and than clinical examination and X-rays to, uh, to to diagnose arthritis of the hand or or the thumb. You don't need MRIs or you don't need anything like that. Is it necessary to treat arthritis of the thumb and the fingers? Yes, I believe it is because, um, as you said before, arthritis can have a very significant impact on the quality of life and on your ability to basically do anything in life because you use your hands for everything. So yes, uh, if your symptoms cannot be controlled with uh, pain medication or splinting, then surgery is required. And there are several options that we can, can be considered, and we can discuss that in further detail depending on what type, what joint we're treating and, and what patient. But uh, yes, I believe... Uh, for quality of life uh, and for autonomy, treatment of hand arthritis is necessary. So what can be done to relieve the pain and prevent the deformities? To treat the pain, you can take um, minor uh, painkillers um, that are available everywhere. You can take anti-inflammatory medication. You can use ointments that are made of anti-inflammatory gels. You can splint the hand or the joint to rest it and allow the inflammation to settle. Um, you can also take... Um, uh, glucosamine or um, devil's claw that uh, you know are available and uh, have uh, anti-inflammatory properties as well. Uh, unfortunately, when it comes to uh, deformities, you can't really prevent those. Mm -hmm. um, arthritis is a degenerative disease that you can't really stop. So um, those are pretty much the things you can do. Uh, diet plays a role also in um, controlling the symptoms. So you want to have a anti-inflammatory diet, and there's uh, you know some. Uh, foods that you should avoid and some that you should actually seek out to change, you know, the, the level of inflammation you have in your body. <laughs>